Racist believe he's a racist. Andrew Gillum's 2018 warning about Ron DeSantis Rizza faces. The October 21, 2018 Florida gubernatorial debate between former Democratic Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum and ex-Republican United States Representative Ron DeSantis was a slugfest between the two men, both of whom hoped to win the chance to govern the country's third most populous state. Thanks to then-President Donald Trump's endorsement, DeSantis emerged as a formidable candidate by embracing Trump's Make America Great Again brand of right-wing populism. Gillum won his party's nomination over former Congresswoman Gwen Graham by running on a progressive platform, but he was unable to overcome DeSantis' consistent, albeit tight, lead in the polls. That resulted in a narrow DeSantis victory of 49.6% to 49.2% over Gillum in the November 6th election. A mere 32,463 votes constituted that 0.4% difference. Since taking office in January 2019, the now two-term Ed DeSantis has increasingly embraced the most extreme elements of the social conservative movement, which is exactly what Gillen warned would happen if Floridians elected him. On Sunday, Politico Brian Tyler Cohen retweeted a viral moment from the Gillen DeSantis showdown in which Gillen predicted what a DeSantis administration would look like. Gillum had DeSantis paid for exactly who he is, Cohen remarked in his post. Well, let me first say, my grandmother used to say, a hit dog will holler, and it hollered through this room. Mr. DeSantis has spoken. First of all, he's got neonazis helping him out in this state. He has spoken at racist conferences. He's accepted a contribution and would not return it from someone who referred to the former president of the United States as a Muslim and asterisk asterisk asterisker. When asked to return that money, he said no. He's using that money to now fund negative ads. Asterisk. Now, I'm not calling Mr. DeSantis a racist. I'm simply saying the racists believe he's a racist.